Foundations of Gifted and Talented. Across time and across cultures, when special attention was given to a particular skill, the results were remarkable. Read through the next four slides to get the gist of the history of gifted education. Ancient Cultures and Giftedness History of GT in the USA History of GT in the USA continued more recent history of GT in the USA. Gifted and talented definitions. How do you define gifted and talented? Do you think it's high IQ? Do you think it's all about academics? Can someone be gifted in areas that aren't part of academics? Generally, giftedness refers to academics, language, and math, while talented refers to athletics and fine arts. There are several assumptions that go along with definitions of GT and actually shape the definition. Some definitions assume that intelligence is innate and fixed. In other words, you are born with a certain capacity for learning. Some definitions assume that intelligence can be developed and shaped by a nurturing environment. Some definitions are based on the notion that intelligence is an unidimensional trait. Other definitions assume that intelligence is characterized by multidimensional traits. Traditional definitions of giftedness tend to emphasize the stability of intelligence. This leads to the use of IQ as the determining factor for both the definition and the identification of students with GT. For example, Terman's definition of giftedness reflects a narrow view in which high intelligence is closely associated with high academic achievement. Terman believed that IQ was a fit and defined giftedness as the highest 1% of the population. That means you would have to have 140 IQ. Today's definition of giftedness is much broader. Newer research has proven that IQ is not a fixed entity. In 1972, Sidney Marlin, Commissioner of Education, uh, the U.S. Office of Education, proposed this definition. It is still used today by many states, but no single definition is endorsed uniformly in the 50 states. In 1993, a report entitled National Excellence, a Case for Developing America's Talent, proposed this new federal definition. This report expressed concerns that we are missing many children and adolescents that are GT. It recommended that our schools and our nation needed to commit to the development of America's talents. Let's go through this definition. 
children and youth with outstanding talent who perform or show the potential for performing at a remarkably high level of accomplishment when compared to others of their age, experience, or environment. These children and youth exhibit high performance capability in intellectual, creative, and or artistic areas, possess an unusual leadership capacity, or excel in specific academic fields. They require services or activities not ordinarily provided by the schools. Outstanding talents are present in children and youth from all cultural groups across all economic strata and in all areas of human endeavor. In 1983, Howard Gardner proposed a multidimensional model of intelligence that is broader and yet more specific than the federal definition we just looked at. Gardner described eight specific intelligences found across cultures and societies. One, musical. Two, bodily kinesthetic. Three, linguistic. Four, logical mathematical. Five, spatial. Six, interpersonal, seven, intrapersonal, eight, naturalistic. Gardner believed that intelligences were multidimensional and interdependent. Let's talk about those two factors, multidimensional and interdependent. By multidimensional, Gardner meant that each intelligence has many dimensions. For example, visual-spatial intelligence encompasses skills related to flower arranging, painting, sense of direction, and appreciation of arch architecture, to name just a few. Further, there is no established correlation for many of the skills within each intelligence. For example, a strong sense of direction may be associated with weak or even no color sensitivity. Both sense of direction and color sensitivity are both visual spatial skills. It is the extraordinary person who is strong on all the dimensions within an intelligence. The second factor Gardner talks about is interdependent one of the clearest examples of interdependence of intelligences is the intertwining of the development of interpersonal with intrapersonal intelligences. As we come to understand others, we gain a better understanding of ourselves. As we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves, we can relate more fully to others. That's what he's talking about when Gardner says intelligences are interdependent. Sternberg's theory of intelligence focuses on three components analytic giftedness, synthetic giftedness, and practical giftedness. Number one, analytic giftedness. That's being able to take a problem apart, to understand the parts of a problem and how they are interrelated, typically measured by intelligence tests. Number two, synthetic giftedness. This involves insight, intuition, creativity, or adeptness at coping with novel situations. It is typically associated with high achievement in the arts and sciences. Number three, practical giftedness. Applying analytic and synthetic abilities to the solution of everyday problems, kinds of skills that characterize people who have successful careers. Renzulli's definition of giftedness is a three-ring definition. 
It states that gifted and talented students have a combination of three attributes. Number one, above average ability. Number two, task commitment. Number three, creativity. The various combinations and interactions of these three lead to high performance in a number of general performance areas and specific performance areas. Those areas are detailed on the right side of this chart. In 1995, Goldman defined emotional intelligence as the capacity to know one's emotions, manage one's emotions, motivate oneself, recognize others' emotions, and effectively develop relationships with others. Goldman claims that EQ shapes everything from personal to organizational success. Specific characteristics associated with EQ are 1. Self-awareness 2. Impulse control 3. Persistence 4. Self-motivation 5. Empathy 6. Hope and 7. Optimism Stop and think about yourself for a minute. What are your characteristics like when you think about these seven components? The definition of giftedness is shaped by society, and that definition shapes how society reacts to individuals with giftedness. In education, it is our job to enhance the gifts of every student because Education should be special.